video. We're gonna do a video. We're gonna do Ow! a video. Hello, lovelies. Welcome back to my channel. I have on like this big smock dress because it's what I'm comfortable in. Uh, if you hear any noise in the background, please excuse that because there's washing machines going. Um, Amir is over here watching his Coco Melon. But today, I'm here to give you guys a... Amir, don't, uh, don't touch your brother's stuff. I'm here to give you guys a 31-week update because I'm 31 weeks. And um, also, kind of show you guys some stuff that I got today. Because uh, Tuffy and I went um, baby shopping. I got some of the things off my registry that were saying that they were going out of stock or going unavailable. And I'm annoying and I have anxiety. So I wanted to go and get those things because they were actually things that I really liked or favored or wanted. But first... Let me tell you guys about my 31 week update. So, from you guys, if you saw my last video, I went to um, my last doctor's appointment at 27 weeks. I actually have a doctor's appointment tomorrow morning, um, but it's virtual. But you guys know I went to my doctor's appointment. I had some blood taken, um, drawn. I did my depression screening. I did my glucose testing. Um, in terms of results from the results from that, glucose testing, I'm great, I'm good, nothing came back abnormal from that. Um, but I did find out that I'm severely anemic. I'm hoping that I'm still not severely anemic. So what my doctor told me I have to do is pretty much I take um, iron three times a day. Um, so I take like 65 milligram iron. Uh, to build up my red blood cell count before I give birth. So that's what I've been trying to do. That also explains because most of this pregnancy, especially towards like a month or two ago, um, I've been feeling very fatigued, very weak, nauseous, shortness of breath, um, pale, cold hands, cold feet. And I didn't really know exactly what was going on. I know that I have been anemic before, but I did not know that I was severely anemic. So when I got those results, everything kind of added up. And I will have to say that the iron is helping me. Um, I'm doing a bit better. Uh, some days, like literally, I'll be bed bound, like I'll have no energy to do anything. But the iron is helping and I'm trying my best to be as consistent with taking iron three times a day because that's just very demanding. Um, also, I don't want to be TMI, but uh, iron and stuff like that, like a lot of iron can cause constipation and stuff like that, which I have not really been experiencing, but I'm just trying my best to take that along with my prenatals. And then if you've been subscribed to me or you just subscribed and you watched my old videos, you you would know that like my last pregnancy, I did get um, preeclampsia late on in my pregnancy. I found out about it at 35 weeks, got rushed to the hospital, had an emergency C-section, blah, 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 blah. So <laughs> now with this pregnancy, the entire pregnancy, I've had to take aspirin, baby aspirin um daily along with calcium just to make sure that i'm preventing any onset of preeclampsia so that is something else that i do to make sure that i stay healthy and that my baby stays healthy throughout this pregnancy especially towards the end and that we just have a safe and smooth delivery and that is what i am praying for um and i'm going to you know by the grace of god speaks into existence um so what else can i say um emotionally i have been trying my best because we all know that the world is excuse me very different it's been different me saying that is getting old now but it's not like a typical pregnancy it's not like a typical summer um i don't have a baby shower like I normally would. Uh, my gender reveal was very private. It wasn't with friends and family. Um, so for me, my pregnancy feels like it's gone by 
in the blink of an eye. Um, I also am my first trimester was sick with the coronavirus. Thank God I was not severe and thank God that I surpassed that very well and it has showed no effects on my baby, on my son. Um, so I've just been throughout my pregnancy really trying to find my own special pick-me-ups. Um, today one of them was shopping <laughs> for his arrival. Um, but sorry, don't mind. Mare's hair gotta do that um yes papa but i've just been trying to kind of get in a space where it's hitting me that the time is as close as it is i am 31 weeks before that i i like every time i get to a new week i have my apps and stuff like that that i use i'm kind of like shocked like oh snap i'm that far along um if well not if you know pretty much babies can come whenever they feel once you hit that like 36 week mark 36 37 week mark they can call showtime anytime they want so really like third week in october i could give birth um so that means now september is my month to make sure that i'm getting mentally prepared getting my head in the game um I did have a c-section my first pregnancy I will be trying for a natural birth this time around um, which is also known as a VBAC vaginal birth after c-section so I do ask that all of you pray for me and pray that I do get to have that experience and I do so safely and that either way however God chooses for my labor and delivery to play out that just my baby and I get out safe sound healthy um that's all i pray for you know i'm always open-minded to however it turns out is how it's supposed to be but i am definitely going to try for a vaginal birth this time around uh yes with epidural <laughs> um, but i'm going to try a vaginal birth so that i'm very excited for um i'm very excited to go through the process of going into labor contractions coming bloody show water's breaking i'm excited for all of that this week i'm going to be packing my hospital bag i ordered um a new hospital bag because the one i have for a mare i found it too small it wasn't enough space for me to pack how i wanted first of all for a mare i didn't even have my hospital bag packed because he, he was premature i didn't know he was coming so for this time i'm prepared early i'm gonna have my hospital bag packed by next week um, with at least majority of my stuff and that makes me very excited my hospital bag packing that makes me very excited I am gonna do a video of what's in my hospital bag um, excuse me and I'm gonna share where I got all my items from most of it Amazon if you know me I get everything from Amazon um, and I'm also going to document my labor and delivery i'm opening i'm opening i'm open to sharing with you guys my labor and delivery um and yeah so right now i would say right i'm just really trying to get my mental in the right space i'm trying to drink a lot of water i'm trying to become can sorry if you see my ring light and my glasses i'm trying to become more consistent with my prenatal yoga because I want to build up my strength I want to build up my stamina because I am really shooting for a vaginal birth and I know that that will take a lot of strength um and I think that's it at 31 weeks my baby is the size of a coconut he's about 16 inches long he weighs about three pounds so you guys have an idea of what he may look like like if if you see like a sunny d bottle not the little ones like a big sunny d or something like that i'll screenshot my what to expect thing and i mean it this time and i'll really put it here i have to really remember to put it here um but yeah the apps that i use um i use them with a mare and i'm using them now with my second pregnancy um i use what to expect I use Baby Center and I use Ovia Pregnancy. If every anybody wants to know 
or want to use anything like that if you any of you are expecting it keeps you really excited it keeps you very informed um and it's just something to look forward forward to every time you make a new week in your pregnancy so i definitely enjoy those because every time i hit a new week i watch the videos um i read the articles i read what's going on with my body what's going on with his body so that's really cool too so that's it for my 31 week check-in there's no special foods or anything like that my body is tired i'm tired sis is tired um but we're just trying to get it's mainly a mental thing right now really big on the mental stuff right now and just trying to be positive trying to speak positivity into my space um and just praying that god covers us you know covers me covers my husband covers our son and just makes this a beautiful successful victorious experience so now for the fun stuff i'm gonna show you what i got at target today um and i hope you guys like it i don't know if you guys like stuff like this sorry my pillows are all over the place but i don't know if you guys like stuff like this but i'm gonna show you anyway because i figured why not um we really got clothes it was a lot of clothes because i felt like he needs clothes and i i wanted him to have some of these pieces before they were no longer available so i picked them up at my nearby target so this is one outfit that we got i wish it wasn't twisted like this but it comes with the hat and this is in the size three months so we got highest is three months that we bought this is the top and then it comes with sorry it's backwards but it comes with these pants with little footies on it so that's size three month because i don't know how small or how big he's gonna be and i like shopping and well at first of all with a mare we were blessed we didn't have to shop for anything um but a lot of a mare's gifts came in a range of from newborn all the way to like six to nine months so that's how we're shopping we're shopping beyond newborn clothes and stuff like that um so the highest stuff I got is like three months from today. But on my registry, I believe like his clothes goes up to about six months. Um, then I thought this was so cute and it was going unavailable online. But then it was available. But it was available at um, our local Target. So it says little brother. Yeah. And... Um, sorry like why is this happening sorry it says little brother okay whoa the lighting is terrible and these are the pants they have dinosaurs on it and it also has cool corny footies that i love um i'm just throwing everything and then let me pause it i don't know if coco melon got copyright then this is a newborn item that we got that I think is so cute. It's in the size newborn. Um, and it says, you okay? You okay? It says, welcome to the world. One second, guys. Yeah. It says welcome to the world and it comes look at this card again it comes with a sweater and striped pants with more corny footies Yay! okay um what else did we get just some regular onesies long sleeve and this is in three months i would hope that it's really through zero to three months i just don't understand why carter's does things like it goes like newborn three months six months nine months i'm like okay um but has this one then it has this one and it has this one so that's that 
Then we have these onesies that I got in zero to three months, finally. And it's by Gerber. And look at this, guys. I'm probably so corny. But they're just onesies, another set of onesies. And it has this, and this, and this. So did Amir get a hold of the dryer sheets? Yes, he did get a hold of the dryer <laughs> The dryer sheets. <laughs> Ow. Um, I was not present when he got a hold of the dryer sheets. But I want to say maybe they were at the edge of the dryer. And he got a hold of the dryer sheets. Um, yeah. Then we got him. This is newborn. Just so we're... Huh? I'm not buying it. Not buying what? That he got a hold of the dryer sheets? Yes. He did. <laughs> More cute footies. He's going to have a lot of cute footies, but this is what's on it. And guys, this was like... This was five dollars. This was five fifty nine. Um, all the other stuff was ranging from like eight dollars, nine dollars, stuff like that. Oh, this is cute. It's like a little sweatsuit. So it has these pants, and then it has baby brother. And this is zero to three months as well. And the top was four ninety nine, and the bottoms were five ninety nine. Um, I'm a mommy that budgets. I, I'm not really a luxuries mommy. I budget, okay? So, then he also got these pants. These are newborn. And I buy things that come in like, you know, threes, twos, whatever. He got some hats. And this goes newborn to zero months. So, it'll fit him for a little while. And more onesies. <laughs> and these say hi. Then you got some porcupines. And this is just plain. But the detail that I love on these is the green, like the teal buttons. And yeah, this is just regular dots. Thought these were really cute. And then he has like... It's very soft. I don't know what you call this material. What do you call this? I don't know, it's like fuzzy, but it's a jumper. And I figured he could wear this, like, you know, going to his first doctor's appointment or something like that. Has a hoodie, the hoodies have ears. And that's the first bag. And then, oh, I love this outfit. I did want it in newborn but they didn't have the newborn they had the three months um i wanted newborn so you could wear it for turkey day even though it doesn't have a turkey on it but look i think this outfit a mare i think this outfit is so cute you guys it's so cute and it comes with like a hat It'll still be um, this type of weather when he's three months. It'll, when he's three months, it'll be like Jan February. Yeah, it'll be like February. Or, yeah, February. February, march -ish. <laughs> So, I love that outfit. I'm going to save this for last. Uh, these are essentials. They're just plain white onesies and they're the gerber brand they're organic cotton and it's just literally plain and i love them and it's so soft and when they're in the house this is what they spend most of their time in onesies so um we got him some socks and this range is from zero to six months and they have these with like puppy bears. I don't know what animal this is. And these at the back. So that's what we got there. And some mittens. 
as well. And we also have more mittens, more socks on our registry, but just things that we wanted to pick up today. Do you need help? Do you need help? I think you need help. There we go. Then I got him this pack of what comes in here, four onesies. And then cool things. All right, well, oh no. This is not really cool, but I got a quick clean breast pump and accessory sanitizer from Medela. And this was like $7. A mare, baby. This is like $7. I hate what's going on with my lighting. I don't know if this is going to help me. I can't be bothered. But this, a mirror. This helps with, you know, it's like you can use it for your breast pumps, your breast pump parts, and the baby bottles. It has no harsh chemicals. Um, it's gentle enough to clean nurseries, and it's no rinse, no wipe, and leaves no residue. So if I'm just breastfeeding and I want to do a quick cleanup, I can just spray this on and sanitize. I'm also gonna get the wash. Well, the wash is also on my registry. Um, maybe somebody will get that for me before I have to get it for myself, but it's there. And this is a cool Amer. This is a cool gadget that I got. Okay, what is this, Tamia? What is this? So, it's a mini sterilizer for pacifiers. Um, pretty much. You you know when you're out, you've seen a mom. If you're not a mom, you're an aunt. Somebody, you've seen a baby. They drop their pacifiers or their pacifier was in your purse or it was just dangling off of them. And typically, you have to like have like a water bottle on hand or you have to go to run to the bathroom and clean their pacifier or whatever the hassle is. This saves your life. You can literally, like you said, she has it attached to her bag. You can literally open it, pop the pacifier in, and within, it says 59 seconds. I don't know why you just say 60 seconds. But within 60 seconds, it kills 99.99% .99 of bacteria and viruses on the pacifier. This is clutch. I only, it was only, I think $19.99. But yeah, this is it. It's like $19.99 or $20, $21 most. So, awesome. Great buy. Great way to make your life easier as a mom. Um, and then we got him a blanket. I love this blanket because of the color. It's just blue, but I think the blue on it is very pretty. If you guys can see the shade but I think it's really fuzzy it's soft and we'll use this in the hospital and to bring him home and at home um, but wanted to get him a blanket for sure and then this is his coming home jumper um, they did have it in gray and it had like sheep on it but this one has a puppy and it's really fuzzy and it's covered at the feet and it's in the size newborn and it just zips right down into one side of his leg it's fuzzy on the inside as well and we'll just put like um a onesie on him of course under there and stuff and the hoodie it has a hoodie as well and the hoodie is lined with puppies right and that's what we put on him to come home so those are the things that we got today i also ordered this i don't have it on hand but i ordered it because it's another mommy thing that can make your life really easy um i'm gonna show you it i got the baby brew bottle warmer 
and I'm gonna show ya what it is. Um, sorry guys. Yes. So I got it in marble, and I'm just trying to pull up the picture for you guys and what it does and what it looks like and stuff. So it's just a bottle warmer. But it's a portable bottle warmer, and that's what makes it cool. So this is a bottle on the top. You just attach it, and it warms up your bottles, and you can be anywhere. And that is actually a lifesaver for a lot of moms, okay? Because usually you have to carry um, a bottle that keeps water warm, and then you have to carry the formula or if you're breastfeeding, you have to keep your milk cool. And then you have to find a way or find a microwave or find hot water or something to heat up your bottles. Either way, you end up carrying numerous bottles and numerous parts and all this other stuff. This just makes it extra, extra easy. I'm going to show you. It makes it extra easy to warm up your bottles. It's literally... These are the steps I'm gonna show you. You take that off, right? Boom. You're gonna screw it to the top of your bottle. They're telling you a whole bunch of unnecessary stuff. Sorry, one second. Turn it on, a blah, blah, a blah, blah, a blah, blah. La, la, la. Okay, you're gonna screw it on to the top of your bottle, flip the bottle over, and press the on button. And set it to the temperature that you want it to heat up your bottle at. That's really convenient. So, um, got that today too, especially because for Labor Day, it's 20% off. So, I feel like we got a lot of things. Doing that made me feel very exciting. Um excited sorry it made me feel very excited um it just gets me ready and lets me know like he's almost here and i'm finding so many cute cool mommy stuff that'll make my life easier that'll make my bags lighter especially because i have two babies so i do not want to have loads and loads on my back and two babies so i'm happy that i found like the the pacifier sterilizer so i can sterilize the pacifier right off my bag um i found the bottle water warmer so i can just boop right there don't have to ask anybody for boiling water that's too hot or run to a tea shop or anything so bottles will be much easier um and a bunch of cute clothes so i think that is it for today um Otherwise, I'm doing well. I'm just trying to get myself prepped for baby number two. My next video um, would either be my maternity shoot because I'm editing that now. Um, it should be my maternity shoot video. Amir, do not take those wipes out. Amir, close it, please. Close it, please. No! Um, it'll be my maternity shoot behind the scenes. Get ready with me. And then after that, we'll do a what's in my hospital bag. Um, but for the most part, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And leave some positive words for me down below. I love you all, and I thank you for watching. And I hope you all are staying blessed. I hope you all are staying safe. And Mare, say, say uh, okay. see you later. I yeah, say bye. Uh -oh. All right, we'll see you later, guys. Say, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, bye, guys.